So exactly how is Donald Trump supposed to do what he wants to do, folks, if he were elected into a second term? How is Donald Trump going to manage to get everything done that he wants to do? A lot of people say, you know, Donald Trump's not that bad. Don't worry about him. You know, you've got the Congress, you've got the Senate, you've got the judiciary. They did a pretty good job last time. They did all right. You know what? It's just a lot of, a lot of smoke. You know, just, um, it's not going to be as bad as you say. And to those folks, I would say, well, you haven't seen Donald Trump on steroids yet when it comes to executive orders because the new administration of Donald Trump, the second term, I believe is only going to be able to get what they want done as quickly as they want to do it through executive orders. So this man is going to be writing executive orders like you've never seen them written before, folks. And yes, it's a ping pong thing because a lot of those executive orders can be undone by the next administration. Well, Donald Trump's already sort of given us the hint that he might even run for a third term. You know, devil be damned. Say what you want. Oh, it can't happen, but oh, yes, it can. And so, folks, the the executive orders are something that I think we have to reckon with. This is how Donald Trump is going to manage to do what he wants to do. And, you know, I'm not really playing this towards a MAGA audience. And, and YouTube does a, a great job sometimes of playing videos towards a MAGA audience. Not that I, I don't have anything against MAGA people, but I can't get through to those people. I, I've tried. You know, you've tried right? And um, you just can't get through to them. You end up walking away. It's like arguing sometimes with someone who's drunk. I mean, how far does that get you? So, you know, I'm just excited to see what, what YouTube is going to do with some of these videos because um, they, in times past, maybe not so much um, currently, but in times past, they really love playing these things to a MAGA audience, which is just like, oh my God. <laughs> You know what it's like. So, folks, I've got this clip. I was listening this afternoon to Steve Bannon. Why? I have no idea. Just to, every now and again, I check up on him just to see what he's up to. And let me just set the stage for this clip. So he was talking about Donald Trump, who is on TimCast. You know, it's a YouTube channel. And evidently, Donald Trump was on that show and talking about a lot of different things. Immigration was one of them. And so when I lead into this, that's what Steve Bannon is talking about. And then towards the end, he says Abbott. Well, he's talking about a 60 Minutes episode that was done on Governor Abbott of Texas, um, just to give you some clarification. But but here's what he said today, folks. Um, you know, and, and the word I'd like to use is, you know, something like shite show, but I, I don't know if that's something I can say uh, for Donald Trump's administration. I think clown show may be a little bit less vulgar, but it doesn't quite impart the same uh, feeling that I, that I feel about a second administration. But here's Steve Bannon, folks, and this is from today. The Tim Pool interview, it's going to happen. The, the deportations are going to happen. Now, there may be a structure of incentives, federal, state, President Trump laid it out. They're going home. They're going to be deported. They're not going to stay in the United States. And now the Wall Street Journal, big op in the Wall Street Journal, you must not deport the illegal alien invaders because the economy depends on them. I told you that was coming. Just took Murdoch a little while to catch up to MSNBC. No, they're going home. And Abbott, as weak as Abbott's been, 60 minutes, I said, just hectoring. Who gives you authority? Who gives you authority? Hey, lady, the country's being invaded. Open your eyes. Open your eyes. So, folks, you know, there's there's right ways of doing things and there's wrong ways of doing things. And when it comes to immigration, we just had a right way of doing things that just got rejected. It was a bipartisan deal that was written largely by Senator James Lankford. And Donald Trump trashed it in favor of 
what Steve Bannon was just talking about. Under Lankford's deal, it didn't include mass deportations and child separation and all this kind of stuff. So Donald Trump basically sent out the signal, you know, from Bayou Larange down there in Mar-a-Lago, sent out the signal and said, um, no, don't go for it under any circumstances. Don't, don't do it. So what is he going to do, folks? And, I mean, you, you've just heard a little taste of what Steve Bannon wants to do, uh, the increased deportations. And the focus now is going to be, from my perspective, how does Donald Trump accomplish these goals by bypassing Congress, right? How does he get what he wants done by just doing it himself? Kind of like the definition of an autocracy. And that's what we mean when we say that Donald Trump is going to be moving this country away from democracy. It's stuff like this. And one of the tools, a very powerful tool, again, is the executive order. So when it comes to increased deportations, um, he could use those orders to direct Immigration and Customs Enforcement to prior prioritize and increase the deportation of undocumented immigrants, um, and that's that's going to happen, you know. Uh, it doesn't matter if they're gainfully employed. And, I mean, let's face it. I mean, this country uses the labor. If you just go to any restaurant, if you just go to any construction site, uh, these people, whether you love it or not, have become the de facto backbone, right? The working their fingers to the bone uh, for this, for their well-being, which helps our country. So that's obviously one thing that's going to happen. And then he said, did you hear him say incentives? You know, we're going to give states, we're going to incentivize, is how he put it. We're going to incentivize states to send people back. Well, that means something like this, folks. When it comes to sanctuary cities, Trump could take action against sanctuary cities by issuing orders that restrict federal funding to jurisdictions that do not cooperate with federal immigration authorities. So basically withholding federal funds from any city, it doesn't have to be a sanctuary city per se, it could just be any city, it could be your city. Withholding all sorts of funds is another way that they're going to do it. Uh, public charge rule, reinstating or expanding the public charge rule, which denies green cards and visas to immigrants deemed likely to rely on public assistance, could be done through executive orders. So that's another way to deny people access. If you think that there's the potential, and in Trump's view, everybody is a potential immigrant that's going to rely on public service, whether they do or not, that would be one way uh, to restrict people. And let's not forget military involvement. Donald Trump could deploy more military resources to the border to enforce immigration laws more strictly and to detour illegal crossings. So basically, just turning every border state into a, a war zone. And folks, it just kind of uh, it goes on and on. And of course, Stephen Miller's favorite, he's just biting at the bit to get back and do family separations. And as controversial as that was, where he set up 10 cities, you know, in the middle of the desert and this kind of thing, but separating kids from their parents. The point isn't, in that case, to send people home. The point is the pain of it. And that's what's so brutal about this administration. Um, and some people say, oh, yeah, yeah. Well, he's going to get pushback, you know, from this. But folks, he's he's really good at just doing something. And then a lot of times it, it takes a while for this pushback, you know, the so-called pushback to come into place. But this is just one of many ways, folks, and I'm just going to walk through the whole litany of things. The next thing that I am just dying to talk about is how Donald Trump can use executive orders to curtail freedom of speech. Stay tuned for that one. And it's, a, it's amazing, folks, and a lot of you are probably thinking, no, this could never happen in the United States. Nothing like this could happen. Well, it can, and I'm sure that it will if somebody like Donald Trump is allowed back into office. And like I said, I agree with border security, and it needs to be 
done in a right way. There are, like I said, right ways and wrong ways. And Donald Trump is the clown show of all of the methods to do something about immigration. The way that it should be done is like through that Lankford legislation, that bipartisan leg- legislation, something sensible, but it has to be done through through laws, something that that exists beyond his administration or beyond the next five or 10 years. You know, something that's durable is what we really need, folks. And we don't need the clown show method of passing immigration here, which is what we'll get with Donald Trump.